everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be sharing these recipes with you. We're making some fudgy brownies, my new favorite spring roll salad, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It's Keep Up With Liv. I've been posting so much. It's perfect for summer, yummy. And a eggplant lasagna, which I made on a whim one night and it was so good that I knew I had to film it for you. So that's what we're making today. Let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we're making are these fudgy brownies, guys. These are so delicious. The whole family is going to love them. So I'm starting off with a full cup of nut butter. You can use almond butter, cashew butter. If you use peanut butter, it just will be a little bit more pungent. We're adding in some coconut oil, maple syrup, almond milk, vanilla, and an egg. This will also work with flax eggs. So just use two flax eggs if you're vegan or your favorite vegan egg substitute. And we're gonna whisk that together until it is nice and smooth, making sure if your nut butter is thick to get all the clumps out. Then we're adding baking soda, cacao, almond flour. I'm using monk fruit, but you can also use coconut sugar if that's what you have on hand. And we're gonna mix that all together. Once it's mixed, the batter will be nice and thick. It'll look like this. This is what's gonna make the fudginess of the brownies. So go ahead and spread it into your square pan. While the brownies are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and chat about today's sponsor, which is Element. You guys, if you haven't heard about Element already, I don't know what you're waiting for. Element has been my ride or die electrolyte mix for well over a year now. I use one to two packets a day. I travel with it, it's in the purse. I basically don't go anywhere. It's come to Florida with me, to Tulum. It's gonna come to Europe with me. It's gonna come on my trip that I'm leaving for this week to visit a friend. It comes with me everywhere. It is paleo, no gluten, no dodgy ingredients, vegan friendly, no sugar as well. They have a new grapefruit flavor, which is my favorite for summer, but I also love the raspberry, the citrus, and the chocolate. Electrolytes and balancing them has been a game changer in my life. Things like cramping, muscle fatigue, fatigue in general, cravings in between meals, lethargy, all of these things can be fixed with an electrolyte imbalance. If you work out, if you eat a whole foods diet, it's still important to balance your electrolytes. If you're sweating, you also wanna be doing that. So even if you live an active lifestyle, a lot of things can be solved with electrolyte balancing. And each packet has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, two carbs, and no sugar. Like I said, I just add this to water. I start out my day with Element, which I think is a game changer, because when you wake up in the morning, you haven't drinking water, you wanna hydrate. Especially before coffee, you wanna hydrate. So I have a packet of this before any coffee, I also like to add in the chocolate element sometimes to my coffee to make my coffee like less dehydrated because coffee is a diuretic. It is so yummy. They were nice enough to give me a code for you guys to get a free sample pack with any order. Now, you can use this even if you are a returning customer because I know you've heard about Element many times from me now that so many of you have tried it, loved it, and it's part of your daily routine. So now this new link allows you to get a free sample pack again even if you are returning. So definitely follow the link. I'll put it here on the screen, but it's also going to be down below. Like I said, my ride or die, probably the biggest thing I've noticed when there's like a change in like my health in the last year, definitely is using electrolyte mixes. Also, anytime I feel like headaches or I just feel like I need a little bit of extra hydration, I find when I don't use Element, I'm like constantly peeing, but like not really feeling like I absorb the water. Now I don't even drink water without basically having Element. Even you know, like in a restaurant, I'll put a little Element in it. I share it with my friends, family. It is delicious. So definitely check it out. Let me know which flavor is your favorite and yeah, get hydrating. Once the brownies are cooled, definitely leave them to cool. As always, everything will be in the description when it comes to temperatures and times, but make sure to fully allow them to cool so that the fudgy part can solidify. I like to finish mine with a little bit of flake salt because I love the salty and sweet, but that is totally optional. Then you just slice up your brownies and you have these fudgy, delicious, ready to eat brownies. They're so yummy, gooey. Like I said, everyone's gonna love them. You don't even need to mention that they're healthy because they're gonna be your new favorite sweet treat. Guys, look at that texture. All right, next up, we're making this spring roll salad. 
I am a big fan of this salad. I have made it so many times now. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been talking about it a bunch. It is so yummy. So I started off by chopping up some lettuce. This is just the living lettuce. You can use any kind of lettuce you want, like romaine. Then I chop up some cucumber as well as some coleslaw mix. You can buy cabbage and carrot separately, but I find the mix is just easier. And then I cut it into smaller pieces. I'm also cutting up some red pepper and you can definitely adjust the veggies in here to what you like. This is the combo I really like. And then I'm adding in some noodles, some cooked chicken. I've also done this with cooked shrimp and that's also really good. And then I'm gonna add in all our veggies. So the noodles with the slaw mix, peppers, cucumber, our protein. I'm also gonna add in some avocado and I love adding in a little bit of mango and a little bit of green onion. It really puts it together. Then for our dressing, we have a tablespoon of nut butter. I'm adding in a tablespoon of tamari, a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and some ginger powder. You can also use fresh ginger. I just find that the ginger powder really mixes well. And that is our simple, easy dressing. It makes this gigantic salad and I eat the whole thing for a meal, but you do you. I just find it's a super satisfying, nourishing salad that is full of vibrant colors. It's great for the summertime, especially when it's warm out. And you can definitely meal prep this in advance, bring the dressing in a separate container and then take it with you. And then you just pour it on, toss it up. And I love, there's something about noodles in salad for me that I'm just a big fan of right now. And then we're making eggplant lasagna, guys. I made this on a whim one night and it was so delicious. I knew I had to film it for you. My fiance also went crazy for it. It's so yummy. So I start off by slicing up some eggplant. This is a great way to get veggies in, but also to use some veggies that maybe you're not used to using like eggplant. And I find eggplant like this as opposed to roasted just plain, just adds a lot more flavor to the eggplant. Like I love eggplant with some sort of tomato sauce. So we put that in the oven to get that to cook a little bit before our lasagna so it doesn't get soggy. And then I'm using some ground chicken that you see me adding a bunch of spices to. So we have garlic powder, onion powder. I have some Tuscan salt. You can use plain salt, some Italian seasoning, all of that. You can use ground beef here. If you eat tofu, that can be a good vegan substitute too. Um, whatever kind of you have on hand. I've done this, like I said, with both turkey, chicken, and beef, and they're all really good. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make a quick cashew ricotta versus like a nary, nice dairy-free creaminess. It's just cashews and lemon juice, so I blend that together. Once your meat is browned, I'm gonna go ahead and add tomato sauce. I love Rayo's. I just get it from Costco, it's so yummy. Once the meat is done, the cashew is blended and the eggplants are out of the oven, I put a little bit of sauce in the bottom of a baking dish. This is a large baking dish, so it's like a nine by 13. I put on a layer of eggplant, I put on a layer of our meat, and I make that like the one full like meat, I guess, layer or whatever meat you're using in yours. And I find that adding this layer as opposed to just doing like an eggplant cashew really makes this meal a little bit more filling and a little bit more hearty. So then I'll spoon the cashew ricotta on top and kind of spread it around a little bit. I don't worry too much about making it perfect. And then I'll add on another layer of our eggplant. Like I said, definitely use the step of cooking it a bit before, which will make this not be super watery. If you do not cook the eggplant before, it will come out watery. Then I put a little bit more sauce on the top and then I'm finishing it off with some vegan mozzarella. So even though I'm using meat, I don't um, eat dairy. So I'm using like a dairy free version. And I love this one from Farm Boy because the ingredients are clean. Pop it in the oven. When it comes out, it is bubbling. It is delicious. It's a good meal prep. This lasted two meals for each of us, so four meals total for us, but depending on how much you or your family eats, it could be more, it could be less. Either way, it is delicious and they are going to love it. All right guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Definitely make these delicious recipes. They're just so yummy, good for you, nourishing and delicious, of course. And with that being said, don't forget to check out Element and get your free sample pack with any order. Like I said, both new and returning customers. So that link will be down below. Let me know which flavor is your best and tag me when you make these recipes on Instagram. I'm also gonna leave my last healthy recipe video here on the screen so you can get tons more healthy, nourishing, delicious recipes. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.